1B Word Automatic Symbols and Shortcut Keys Assignment video. So I'm just going to give you a few tips here to help you get through this assignment. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me. Right here I have the uh, assignment page open and we read the instructions and it says we have documents down here at the bottom. We can see them down here, right? These are the documents down at the bottom. This first document on top of the links here is the document we need to open up and use as our um, our answer sheet, right? This is where we're going to actually record our answers. Then that's the actual document, right? Once we rename it here, uh, this is going to be the document we're going to submit into the assignment link. So let's go ahead and click on this link here. It's the 1B Automatic Symbols and Keyboard Shortcuts uh, dot doc x file. So that's going to download it for us. Uh, since I'm using Google Chrome here, it's going to show up on the bottom left corner of my internet browser. And I can uh, open it up here in Word by double clicking it. Okay, so here it is. I can click Enable Editing. And there's my document I'm going to be using. So this document, I want to rename it. So the very first thing is I want to rename it and save it as that new name in my hardware and software folder, either in my flash drive, or um, if I'm using the cl my cloud drive, I can save it out on my cloud drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do save as here, and I'm going to save it out on my uh, cloud drive is actually where I'm gonna save it. Okay, so here I can see on my cloud drive, uh, that there's the folder that I created in the previous assignment, Intro to Business Computing. I can go ahead and open that. And then within that, I can see all the, the 12 folders that I created for that first assignment. So I'm gonna actually be saving this document in a hardware and software folder. So there's nothing in there currently that I've saved. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. It's gonna be called, I'm just gonna put my first initials ahead of the current name. So I'm gonna put DMB and save. Okay, so we can see the name has changed up on top here to include my initials and the name of the document. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and you can, you can see the questions or the things, the tasks that I have to complete, right? So one is a question. So what is the function of the F1 key? Or where am I gonna find that? If we look back, I'm going to go ahead and minimize my Word document here and look back in the assignment. We have all of these documents, right, to draw from. These are our resources for this assignment. So where would I find maybe the function of the F1 key? It's probably going to be in the fkeys.docx file. So I can actually open all of these up and have them open and, and I can use them as resources and, and pull them up. Um, and and find the answers in them. Um, and so that's one way to do it. I, I would discourage you from printing all of them out. That's not necessarily going to be environmentally friendly, but you, you can, I guess, if you need to. Uh, so let's go ahead and find the function of the F1 key. Let's open up our F1 keys doc here. It's going to, again, download it. I'm going to go ahead and double click it and open it up. So there it is right there. So here's F1. We're going to go ahead and so you can, for this, you can actually copy and paste over if you want to do that. That's probably the quickest way to do it. So for example, what is the function of the F1 key? We can go here to the F keys document. We can pull this information out. Uh, Control C is going to copy the information for us. And we're going to be able to throw it right in here if we want to go ahead and do that. So there's the information. What is the uh, function of the F1 key, for example? And then you can keep going down and answer the rest of these. Once you get done, of course, you want to make sure uh, you save it, especially if you're working on your flash drive. It might not automatically save for you. On the cloud drive, it's going to be saving automatically, which is nice. Uh, once you save it, then you're going to need to go back to the Canvas site and submit it on the assignment in the assignment area for assignment 1B, Word Automatic Symbols and Keyboard Shortcuts. Hopefully this will help you. Talk to you later. Bye.